Without any doubt, we're now going to one of the most important moves within the salsa dancing today, which is the cross body lead. Okay, and the cross body lead is what actually adds dimension to your dance. So guys, you can do all the basics in the world, you can make her turn, turn yourself, but without cross body lead, salsa dancing would not be what it is today. So what actually happens is the cross body lead. And the first word refers to the crossing of the bodies, okay? So she's passing my body from one side to the next. Besides, it's a cross body lead, so it's being led, okay? It's leading of the guys and the lady will follow. Okay, so we first show it to you. One, two, three, and five, six, seven, one, two, and three. Okay, let's do that again. One, two, three, five, six, seven, and one. Now be sure you practice this hundreds of times to get it into your system. So it's very nice to start a turn by starting first with a crossbody lead, it's also nice to finish a turn pattern by doing the same crossbody lead, okay? So one of the many ways of practicing it is step by step. So what we do in our classes, which is nice, we let each other go first, okay? Just to practice the footwork. So here we go, guys. We're gonna step forward, lady's gonna step back. This is one. On two, I'm gonna move my right foot slightly out to my right side. Two, Vanessa is placing her weight back on her left foot. And on this moment, the lady can see that my shoulder is going to move back. And that's the moment, ladies, that you do not want to start walking. So the only thing you need to do is close your feet together on three. Now, as you can see, guys, we are having both feet below our shoulders and we just opened a quarter to our left. Okay, so let's do that again. So we're gonna go one and two and three. Ladies, again, be sure that you do not start walking, just stay on that side. Okay, one more time, one and two and three. Now, the lady is going to walk, making two small steps, finishing the crossbody lead by making half a turn to her left. Okay, so here we go, we're gonna go five, small step for the ladies with her left foot. I'm gonna get out of the way so you can actually see what happens here. A small step. On count number six, I'm going to place my way to my left and Vanessa is gonna step forward six. Now, actually, I was here, so let me go back to my position. On count number seven, Vanessa is going to finish her turn on seven, and I am going to step back in front of my partner on seven. After this, we can continue again in a basic step. Okay, so let's do that again. Again, in this first stage, we're not holding each other, which is easier for you to practice. So slowly, one, two, three, two small steps, five, six, and seven. Now some guys, they now want to close their feet together because it feels a bit strange to have your feet separate like this. Guys, be sure, just stay. If you have your feet a little bit away from each other, just stay like this and continue in your basic step one. What actually happens if you close your feet together, that will be on count number eight, and now it doesn't make any more sense to go forward with left because I just finished the step, okay? Just a little bit of details, it, just in case you make that mistake, okay? So now we go to stage number two, and I would advise all the guys to put their left hand in their pocket or on their back or wherever, do not hold the lady. Place your right hand on her shoulder blade, and remember guys, this is the, the moment and the place where you want to give her a little impulse to start walking slowly. One and two and three. As you can see, my left hand is not joining yet, so she has all the space that she needs. And now on five, guys, only on five, I give her a small impulse on five, and the rest, she continues walking and finishing. I'm stepping on seven in opposite of the lady to continue in my one. Let's show it to you from this side as well. One, two, three, small impulse, five, six, seven, basic one. Now in the final stage, we are going to add the left hand of the guys, okay? So guys, with your left hand, you're holding her right hand, and now when you open, one, two, three, be sure that you keep your left hand out of your body. What happens a lot in this third stage is that men have the tendency to pull the hand to keep her in the frame, and now it's hard for her to go forward. So guys, the moment you open, keep your left hand out of your body, one, two, away from you, and then five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and five. Again, one, two, three, and five, six, seven, and one, okay? 
Now, what not to do? Sometimes what happens, again, is that the guys will start pulling, okay? That's mostly the mistake that guys make. Second mistake that guys make is when they turn here, that they forget now to do any steps, okay? So guys, be sure you continue the steps. For the ladies, many times when the lady sees that he's going to open, many times they want to start walking, okay? So a good test for you is to stop on the third count. One, two, and three. And ladies, be sure on the third count you keep your feet together, which almost means I don't want to go. Let him work for it, and now he can push you to the other side. And again, when I say push, guys, it's a very soft impulse, okay? So one, two, three, and five, six, and seven. Guys, this is the crossbody lead. Let's do this with music. So you first make some basic steps. And here we go. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, one. Five, six, seven, one. Five, crossbody lead. One, two, three, five, six, seven, one, five. Two more times. One, two, three, five. And if you want, you can just continue straight, you see? Six, seven, one, doing one after the other. 